It's lovely, the, this bit of woods with the beech trees and this old retaining wall covered in moss. Looks gorgeous. This is like a Hawthorn Grove. All Hawthorn trees underneath these beech. Our beech go in a long line with this retaining wall. That retaining wall is so filled with wildlife. Mice, voles, birds. So full of wildlife. I'm gonna go check on the little plantation down here. The larch trees haven't changed their colors yet. They'll be shedding. They're almost about to go golden golden yellow. This crab apple is shedding its fruit, which is great for the blackbirds and where's some of its fruit on the ground? Here's some of its fruit. So that's a crab apple. There's more. So these, if I let the animals in here, the horses or the alpaca or the sheep, they would eat these. But if you leave them on the ground, and I don't let them in, come January, because they're so hard, a lot of flocks of blackbirds will be around here eating all these crab apples. You can see them now all over the place. All these crab apples from this crab apple tree. So that's January food for a lot of birds. So oh, we've got, that's a crab apple there. This is a hawthorn with ivy in it. That's a larch tree there. And then who's this? Oh, this is another hawthorn that's full of ivy. And then up along there is the beech trees, more hawthorns, more larch trees. My great, 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 Grandfather liked larch trees, I think. He planted loads of them. Anyway, down to see Carl's plantation and how Carl is doing. I wanna check this plantation. Oh, look, primulas are blooming. As I go, there is gold crest, there's chaffinches, robins, all chattering. The chaffinches are down there, and there flies a crow across the sky. Actually, it's a jackdaw. But the birds are all here. Anyway, this spindle, look at that. Beautiful colors coming. Can't wait till these grow big. But look, primroses that I planted this spring after they'd done their thing in the pots. They're blooming here. Ah, and a red one. Fantastic. And you can see young ones are coming up, so they love this spot we chose. Here's a buddleia that I did from cuttings, and it's coming. And these primulas are lovely. So at night time, the moths love these. Oxide daisies are growing well. And here's Carl the oak. He's beginning to turn his colors. Look at that. <gasps> that is such a beautiful yellowy orange. Spectacular, Carl. You're looking great. And the dogs are climbing the tree. Tree climbing dogs, isn't that right? Clever pup. Maya gets very high up. There goes Inca. Clever girl. Now don't fall between the cracks. 
This oxide daisy is blooming here. Look at this. Beautiful, really healthy blooms. We're nearly in November and this is blooming, which is great for pollinators that haven't gone to bed yet. And look at how those oxide daisy florets are doing really, really well. This Guild de Rose is turning. Let's see how this oak tree is doing over here. The Tree of Hope, as I christened it on New Year's Day when I planted it. I've got to step over this Guild de Rose. Here's the Tree of Hope. She is beginning to turn and she's got the oxide daisies around her. There's some, there's some. Gilda Rose. Ah, and it's starting to rain. Crab apple, spindle. They're all doing well. Another crab apple. Another crab apple. How are you? Look at you. You're such a tree climbing dog, aren't you? Yeah. You clever girl. Yeah, and that's a nettle. You don't like nettles. And look, here's some dandelions. And this one is a seed head, so birds will be able to eat that if they want it. Isn't that right? This spindle is doing a lovely color as well. More crab apples, another spindle, and another dog. Not a dog rose, just a dog. So all in all, it's looking good. This little plantation, it's gonna grow and hopefully be really crowded with all of these people and create a wildlife refuge of berries and fruit and pollinators and there's some more primroses primroses this one's blooming look at that those are all great for the night pollinators and we're back to the gate here's the gate in we have two gates in but we got rid of a lot of the thistles that were in here just because it gives a chance Ooh, what's this that's a bit of something. I'll take that out. Oh, that's from the cardboard because I wanted to suppress the grass so that the um, all the trees... See, this spindle is fruiting. Birds love those. So, no, this is looking good for the first year. So we're in year number one. This was planted this spring and throughout the summer we've been adding the herbs if you will the evening primrose the oxide daisies and primula and the odd oak like carl so hopefully it will accelerate in growth given time okay up into the orchard see how things are going hey girls Oop. They're after a squirrel or a pine marten or a hare or a rabbit. Could be a fox, but I doubt it. It's kind of late in the morning for a fox. Listen to the birds chattering away in the trees. eating apples. Whoops, starlings. Whoop, they're gone. I spooked them. Hey, you guys, how are you? I'm walking funny because I'm walking over all these windfall apples. Hey, girls. <coughs> yeah. There's plenty of grass in here. Oh, you're very lame. 
But look, they're all in here in the shelter because it started spitting with rain. Isn't that right, ladies? All coming out of the rain that's due to come. Not right. Hey, lady. It's okay, Brindle. They've all exited the far end. Um, I'm gonna see about putting some hay in the hay rack and see if they'll eat it. Might be a bit early, but I may as well. It'll ba balance out their fiber for the juiciness of the apples. Is that right, Java? You coming in here? You don't like nettles. You've got to go underneath a tall nettle. Ooh, clever boy. Noivous people waiting outside. I'm gonna unhook the hook. There. Now. Secure the round bales. And they'll all start eating if they want it. I think this bucket mineral lick is finished. Yeah. It is. I'll take that with me. You're all very nervy today. Why aren't you nervy? Hmm? You gonna go inside? they now have hay and they seem to want it. Hey, mm -hmm. ear feather. How are you? There's nothing in the bucket. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're a good girl. See you later for your supper. 
I think it's a tractor, yeah. Perfect. But it's like a train. Feeding after dark because I went to the Saver Kilkenny Festival. Zombie years. <laughs> and they're off. So, I'm gonna count and see if everybody's here in the dark. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 21. They're all here. And the dogs. Oh! And the cat! Hello! Hey, I've met. How are you? You're very high up on the wall. Yeah. How are you? You beautiful kitty. Yeah. Okay, pick up the bucket. There's nothing in the bucket, is there? Empty bucket. Come on, Java. Come on, Maya. Maya, come on, Java, come on. Good girls. Where's the cat con? You there, I admit. Oh, there you are. you how are you like the Cheshire cat and a pew. yeah oh yeah how are you you beautiful kitty you beautiful kitty Good giddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>